my name is Nat Nguyen and this is my last lecture. I was born on September 23rd, 2001 and I have two siblings. My parents were from Vietnam and they immigrated to the US back in 2003 in hopes of building a bright future for us. My mom's a very caring person that always thinks about me when she doesn't have to and for that I'm truly grateful for her. I've never realized how much she's done for me until now and I like to see this as a sign of me growing up. My dad is also like her. He's caring but at the same time he's strong. He would always put his family above all else. I have a younger brother named Kenny and we have a decent relationship right now. He's a silly brother and he's lazy too but he's still a kid so it's alright. In the past I actually used to tease him a lot and it made him cry a lot. Now that I've grown up. I've realized that teasing only made him feel bad and it made me feel bad as well and I've stopped as I, I've matured. As of now, I love him a lot and I hope that, that he grows up to be someone unique and different because he is different from everyone else. He's my special brother. I also have an older sister and my relationship with my sister is good as of now but back before, I always thought that she abused me and treated me like a servant. She looked like a good person on the outside, but she's actually the devil on the inside. She made me cry a lot, and like how I made my brother cry a lot, so I guess it runs in, in the family. She was the person who gave advice to me throughout my life too. I actually have a huge family, and I hope one day that I can meet them all. I love hanging out with my cousins, because all of them know how to have fun, and, and I don't, so it's a good experience and a good lesson on having fun, I guess. I came to America when I was about 3 and I didn't really know what was happening in my life so I assumed everything was fine and was always going to be fine. I was a very happy child and I had support throughout my whole childhood. Honestly though, most of my childhood, I can't actually remember that much because there wasn't anything too important to remember. Having childhood memories didn't really apply to me as it did to other people. I have bad memories so I guess that can contribute to it. I loved elementary because it was fun and I had many friends there. As I entered middle school and high school, school wasn't fun at all and I had a tough time making friends. The friends I made though were awesome and I didn't mind that I only had one to two friends. My friends helped me get through some tough times in life and I'm grateful for having such amazing friends that want to hang out with me. Even though I don't even want to hang out with myself honestly. <laughs> even though I'm grateful for friends, I never tell them that because it would make me feel dependent on them which is bad. I think my life started to feel like it went downhill at the end of 6th grade. My 6th grade teacher hated me a lot and it really lowered my self confidence. Afterwards, I was just too scared to talk to anyone in middle school so I just didn't try to talk to anyone. School life was a bit sad but my computer always has my back. My computer was pretty much the ultimate solution to any problem. At times, I felt like my computer was the only thing that kept me sane, honestly. On the weekends, I would just stay up till 5 o'clock just to end, just sit on my computer, and I think I spent over 2,000 hours straight up playing video games, because playing video games solved all my problems at the moment. And it was fun as well, so I guess that helped. I feel like I forgot how to interact with people in real life because of this, but honestly, I don't really mind, and I, don't, I try not to think about it. I was, I was a pretty naive and stupid person when I was in middle school. Middle school was a difficult time in my life because I had a lot of trouble communicating to others and trying to express myself. One of the ways I expressed myself was by drawing. I, I want to say that I'm good at it, but that would just make me look arrogant and I do, I do not want to look arrogant. Drawing was also a way for me to reduce my stress because I get stressed out easily. My dream was to become a painter back in elementary, but I changed it because it was most likely a goal that I would not achieve. As I've entered high school, I started to have advice that I would tell myself every day. The most important advice was to adapt and be flexible. In the words of one of my favorite characters in a video game, Adapt or be removed. It would mean that I would have to accept new things that came to the best of my ability. It could be something simple like adjusting to a new teacher that has new expectations. It could be moving to another country and trying to fit in. Adapting to me means that I, I'm ready to change so I can prevail through the challenges that life presents. Others who don't adapt just whine and whine and they'll never get anything done. People have many fears that include typical things like the dark and spiders, but what scares me the most is my future. The future scares me because I have no clue what I want to do. Combine that with my social skills and my chances of being successful and employed is what I feel drastically low. All I ever want to do in life is to make money and give it to my family, because money runs the world and it controls people's happiness to a great amount. The saying that money can't buy you happiness is 100% false because I know that most people can buy happiness. I wish school could translate over to life effectively, but that just doesn't happen most of the time. 
All I can do is just keep on pushing forward, because forward is the only option in my opinion. Plus, no one wants to go backward. 